na 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 tell them all it. Na 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 tell them all it. Interview time, boo. Are you ready for this? Let's do this. <laughs> Devonadaremiweeweeblogs.com It's been a while It's been a while since yesterday finally I met you This man hates me oh, oh my god How did you say that? How did you say he that? didn't want to meet me first time, second time I haven't seen this man in a long time Just you two How are you? Are you looking better in the flag? This oh. has gotta go in. Oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> the f you thought? And I know this guy hates me because he said, huh, and a Portugal is in China with his green eyes. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Listen, Conan. Jal hmm. said that we've got an interview in your hotel room. Yeah, baby. Confirm the deep. You topic. have? Yeah. An interview in my room. In your hotel Where? room. Is that when? Jal said you can interview Kanan in his hotel room. I, I Wait, he crashed you, again. You have to ask him like you, you can have an interview with him in my room if I call him. In his room you have to ask for permission. Oh. <laughs> what is this buffoonery? No, this is this is this is not correct. We can have an interview anytime you want. Because I love you. Oh, oh you're gorgeous. We love you too. Do you have a message for your fans? I have a message. You guys are the absolute best. You captured the things that I want to say the best and I love you so much and I love these guys so much you are so supportive thank so thank you so much thank you see you later guys see you later bye you are amazing I was looking for you everywhere Everywhere that I can. Isn't that a song? Oh yeah! I listened to it yesterday. I was so Third, hyped. Third time era now. Oh. I try to make you love me again. I was like, oh my god, I remember this song and I used to love it and I never remembered it again so, until yesterday. So are you like a Eurovision fan then? Not really, but I I know some songs though. I know some songs and the ones that I, because I'm I'm really honest. If I like it, I like it. You know, like I love Fuego. I could not pretend. Like in a, in a quarter mile to pretend to love Fuego, I just adore it. It's my favorite Eurovision song. She was on the red carpet yesterday. I was flagabasted. How do you say? How do you say? Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. <laughs> I tried it though. You did. You did. <laughs> um, you know, like speaking of Portuguese hmm. entries, oh, the, the whole the, Manuela Bravo. Do you know that? Vai subir aquela estrela que não deixa lá viver e sonhar. Yeah, I love that. But you know what? In Festival de Cansao history, not many people win the tally vote and the jury. Bam, bam. Even Salvador Sobral didn't do that. Oh. Girl. Oh, so now you speak, you're spilling the tea tea. <laughs> I mean, really? What was that? That what was that endorsement? I don't, know. I like don't, I don't even know. You, you know what? Do you know what it feels like to not, like, not really believe that you're going into a competition with such a, such a song, song kind yeah. of like. It's piece. a movement, isn't it? Yeah, it well, it's guess, an art piece. Uh, well, I would not be the one to call it an art piece. It would have to be you, you guys, like, you know. It's sporty, it's fashion, it's music, it's a visual spectacle, oh. it's a pose, yeah. it's movement. It is. I mean, it's, it's so many things yeah. in, in three minutes. Three minutes of fabulosity. Three minutes of you getting a little bit of like dried fish with some watermelon on top and then a reduction of wild cherry and Chinese fruit berry you know oh, what yeah. i mean <laughs> like she honey yes with a topping of pastel de noche oh. <laughs> pastel de noche pastel de noche you love it do you enjoy oh it? my god when i was in lisbon girl that was all i had to eat you Literally. know what no but first forcefully love it love oh, it okay yeah, you amazing. don't like it i like it but I, like if, if if it's the only thing that you have to eat You'll get mm. to not like it. Oh, I love it. Mm. Love it. Love it as well. You couldn't go wrong with it. And different people make it different ways yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some the put crust. cinnamon and... Yes. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We've got to talk about Jao. He had an injury earlier in the week, right? Yeah, he had... An Actually, it, it went like this. He had like a previous injury. At the first rehearsal, it got worse. 
So it was like, okay, I'm not gonna spend all this energy on the second, so, so he didn't did, do the the death drop. Uh, but as as we're staying near the beach death and drop. I don't know, that's why you ca- that's what you call it, no? <laughs> yeah. And so um, he recovered because we have been to the beach a lot and swimming a lot, and it really helped him uh, recover a little bit because the injury was backwards and he just needed to uh, mm-hmm. establish this part a lot. But everything is fine now. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So you like Pokemon, right? It's yes. in your bio. I love, oh, wow. I'm obsessed. Really? Yeah. yeah. What do you like about it? I don't know. I, I think it grew with me. Like, I was very young when Pokemon came around. I was like 11. Just the the, the very age of a Pokemon trainer going out to the wild. So I guess it really grew with me as well. Is that the game where they relaunched it? You have to go finding... Well, there's <laughs> different sides to it. You have the, the official version, which is... Uh, in a lot of Nintendo systems yeah. which is the official Pokemon game and that's mm-hmm. the one I am a fan of I'm a fan of raising Pokemon battling Not well I, I played Pokemon Go too but that's a whole different thing of going around and shooting your and breaking yourself and doing it as well so I don't do that but I love Pokemon so. you have one of the most interesting bios ever which literally is? I mean things like I tell you what <laughs> You order milk in bars. You're scared of balloons. I mean, like, I don't... <laughs> come on, let's clarify this. I don't order drink in bars. This is a story you of... order milk in bars. I don't... It, it, this is a story of my ex-boss. She... It was like this. It was our first erotic... Um, erotic... How do you call it? Like, um, when, when you sell uh, the stuff on a big... Um, like, a big event... It was an erotic event. An so erotic event. Er, an, an erotic uh, compendium of shops. Okay. We've got to come back to that point. Oh, okay. so, but okay. yeah. But <laughs> that, that, just to explain the milk, and I brought milk and Oreo. While they had vodka. Come on, is it that strange? I don't order it on bars. I, I don't even go to bars that much. I just brought it, and she was like on my balls forever for bringing milk. Okay, the, you know. you're scared of balloons though, right? I hate balloons. You know what I hate? Is it, I is hate, it popping, those balloons? It's the popping, the texture of the rubber mm-hmm. and the, the smell of it. Oh, if wow. it's not rubber, I'm totally fine with it. If it's those metallic ones, okay, I'm fine. If it's those plastic classical ones, just, you know what? I watched, maybe I watched too much of It, the movie, you mm. know, when I was young. Do you like latex? Mm, I'm not a fan, but as long as it doesn't explode, but I don't like the smell because it reminds me of balloons. Oh, do you like fireworks? Mm, fireworks are up in the sky, so I don't have so much of a problem then. until I. Yeah. So you worked in a sex shop. So yep. if I was to walk, so, so how do you break the ice in a sex shop? Because people, do people actually walk in with their they, they, they pick the items, they put it in a, in a brown paper bag and exit. Or do you get people sashaying and going, yes. hey, can I order? Yeah, you ha- do you know what? That's a funny thing. In there, you can just see the essence, the human essence in its fullness. You have people that go there and show it all off. You have people that go there to laugh and they end up buying something the next day when they're alone. You get people that don't know a shit about sex toys and they end up being like the best experts ever you get people that are very lonely and you and they go there just to speak to you you get people you get trans people with uh, problems um relating to cis people which they don't know how to manage because they don't have the physical support like they they don't even know sometimes what can exist to help them sometimes you know but what is the right etiquette do people just walk in and have like a social gathering in a sex shop you know what there's there's definitely not an etiquette it's up to it was up to me to make you feel as if I would not judge you ever. It, I have the the place and the and the and the, the 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 loyalty of being there for you as a human, not as a man, not as a woman, not as a sexy person, not as any type of person. I am an entity that's there to clarify, to help you, and to make you bring you more in contact with your own sexuality. Period. Does that mean you have a large collection of toys? No. Why not? It doesn't. You know what? Have you sold them? 
<laughs> we have a saying in Portuguese. Because I want to come out of Siren <laughs> or ah. little something. No, something. you know what? I, Keeping it real. Keeping it real. <laughs> we have a saying in Portugal. That's what I meant to tell you. We have a saying in Portugal that goes, Em casa de ferreiro, espeto de pau. This translates into, In a house of um, men that, um, a barbecuer man, you don't have a stick to barbecue with. So it literally means when you when you work oh, with something you don't have it and you don't have access to it. So it's perfectly translatable in my case. I just I just I had like a couple stuff got wasted and I never bought it again. So yeah. I'm curious to know what those things were. <laughs> well, silicone things. That's <laughs> That's the best I can tell you though. Yeah, but no. I you know what I used to, uh -huh. to like to and um yeah. taste and test Lubricants. Oh, yeah, sister. yeah, no, 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 no. Got it but going. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. let me tell you. Like, I would open them a little bit, give it a little bit of a taste. Of a lick. No, no, no. What I, the flavored one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And the flavored ones. Yeah, yes, because like I really wanted to sell something that was delicious. What was your favorite flavor? I don't know. Tropical. I think. What is and that? Tropical, tropical is like um, pineapple mixed with banana, mixed with kiwi. Like a tropical dare design. to dream and serving it up. I, you know what? We have to have another interview <laughs> talking about your Anytime, wardrobe, babe. And I'm here. By the way, your outfit for uh, that green thing. That is it kimono? Is it? Uh, is it the future? Is it the past? Is exactly what you, what you you read. It's it's all of this you know. But seriously though, my one of my main themes is exploring the connection between the past and the future because you know what sometimes i really feel like especially in portugal of course but also in the world i feel that the the gap between the the past and like our grandpas and and our kids is beginning to be so deep that i'm a, a little bit scared sometimes for them and also for the kids like where is the connection I, sometimes i try to be this connection and i try to be really resilient in um not getting aggravated with a past mentality and not getting too nervous about something that's coming to the future you know this is what mainly what i bring sometimes like in an essence is the connection between these worlds because i really do feel that, that they need to connect can i just say you're bringing it you brought it i'm buying it i'm lapping it up <laughs> licking it off <laughs> come, come on I'm, I'm serious Devin. come on i try to be serious sometimes you're a vision news with attitude i just need a moment it's conan osiris oh aka God. tiago miranda hey boo hey. high five high five forever he yeah. is gorgeous he's representing portugal wow. this is a moment and I'm loving every single minute of it. Single Thank you minute. so much for sitting Thank down you. with Wee Wee Blog. Absolutely you. adore you. And we will see you later. Bye!